Mr. President, what do you think about Mr. Ron DeSantis joining your side again? If they can't beat me, they might as well join me. The public heard about you fighting some tall monster in the forest. Mr. President, would you like to elaborate on what happened? You see, all of that was fake news. I can't believe you actually believe that next question. Mr. President, there has been word that you have been committing election huh? fraud and you will commit it again in the 2024 race. Do you believe these allegations against you are just- No, of course not. You see what the Democratic Party is trying to do? They are trying to prevent me from winning because they know damn well if I win, I will fire all of those corrupt employees, get rid of all of those corrupt bills, and screw up whatever money they are making using government info to trade stocks and other currency. Wait, Mr. President. Me and my colleagues will be on our way now. Good job handling the press, Donald. We can't be late. We have One, urgent two, matters three, to attend to in Liberty really City. Appreciate. Hey, you go ahead and shut your ass up for me. I'm sorry, Mr. President. I'm just so excited to see you. He's talking about me, buddy, not you after that terrible performance in 2020. How is it a terrible performance? Even election fraud couldn't save you, Donald. Bro, what? I hey, know damn Joe, well you heard me perfectly. I said even election fraud couldn't down. save you. Barack, let me remind you to never interrupt any of my conversations, you hooligan. I just had to make sure you knew how to climb the stairs. Not my fault you're not even retired right now. Hey, I could make it work. I mean, the ladies at a retirement home aren't half bad. I'm convinced you need serious help, Biden. Does this man not have a wife or am I tripping? He does, but I think he just likes switching girls no matter what. I'm convinced he is a cuck as well. Hey, Donald, can you slow your ass down? We aren't in any rush. We will still make it. Speaking of Liberty City, not gonna lie, the first thing I'm gonna do in Liberty City is buy a new car. I feel like it's time for me to splurge the money I got from being president. What do you think I should get, a Rolls Royce? Not gonna lie, a Rolls Royce is a really good... Why did everyone go silent? What the hell are you doing, Biden? I'm trying to feel the sea, connecting to it like our ancestors before us trying to understand it, you know. I heard if you make random noises, it gives you luck when flying. All right, buddy, but Barack, I was saying, not gonna lie, a Rolls Royce is a really good investment. You can probably get one for like 350. And I also may get a presidential discount, you know, for dealing with all this bullshit. I actually think this- Biden, I swear on everything I know that I will throw you out of this damn plane and leave you to fend against the damn sharks in the damn sea. Do you hear me? Also, we're going over the Bermuda Triangle. Huh? huh? Don't be a bitch. Not gonna lie, Donald, I can't take this anymore. What if we die? All those rumors were complete cap. We aren't shaking, it's just a facade. Come on, Donald, was there no other way to fly? I'm scared I can't leave this world without tasting chocolate chip ice cream during my passing. Guys, calm down. Do you really believe those myths? You are both grown adults and functioning members of society. I can't believe you fell for such childish stories. Not gonna lie, Biden, shut your bitch ass up. That isn't gonna have any effect on what the hell is going on right now, you little brat. Be quiet and let us pray that we will get out of this triangle. All right then, screw you in the sea. Oh no, everyone brace for impact. We are going down, I repeat, we are going down. This is not a dream. Where the hell is that mask thing you put on your face when a plane crashes? I forgot what it's called, never mind, I found it. Damn, bro, I'm trying to text my wife that I love her. But I guess I don't have any damn cellular up here. You know what, damn you, Donald, for not getting Elon to give us Starlink up here, you bitch. Now I can't tell my wife I love her. Well, since we are all screwed, we might as well tell the truth. To be frankly honest, Barack, I've never liked you. The only reason I was your vice president is because I wanted to become president myself. So I used you and your position to boost my career and getting that medal from you helped so much more, to be honest. Biden, I'm sorry that I slept with your wife. I had no choice. I was in a bad mood after Melania was gone, so I had no choice but to see your wife all right. And I don't give a damn what you think. Damn well, I guess that's it. Goodbye, world. I'm glad that I don't have to see any of you bitches. What the hell? How did I even survive that? Where are the others? Are they even still alive? Why the hell is there a shark right here? Oh, hell no. Biden, I swear on everything I know that I will throw you out of this damn plane and leave you to fend against the damn sharks in the damn sea. Do you hear me? Well, I mean, this is really funny. I guess the plane wasn't gonna take me out after all. I guess I really had it coming saying all that. Well, the best thing I can do is fight. I can't even feel my bones. It's like all of them were shattered, even though we landed in water. Oh, shit. Ah. Donald, wake up. Donald, you're alive. Wake up, man. Donald, wake up. Donald, you're alive. Wake up, man. I think he can hear you. What the hell happened? One moment ago, I felt like I was just mauled by a shark. Oh, shit. Ah! 
How the hell did you hooligans even get to this island? I know damn well none of you have creative mode, so you can't fly your ass over here, so who wants to explain? The waves carried us to this island. That's the whole reason you're still alive, and the whole reason we are in this damn situation is because of you not wanting to take another path. Donald Trump, we told you the rumors and myths were true, and now we are stranded with no way to return. Do you not have a damn response to that? Huh? Hussein, there is something crucial you need to learn. Nothing is set in stone. We haven't even explored the island, so calm down. We will find a way to get out of here and get back to the States. So we need to go cut some wood so we can have a damn fire at night, all right, because I'm not getting bit by a thousand mosquitoes on this foreign island, bro. Ooh, what if there is a mosquito that makes a bunch of chocolate chip ice cream cones? Wouldn't that just be the most wonderful, best thing in the world? Guys, I could really go for some ice cream. I've memorized the steps to make ice cream, too. Cook the milk, cream, and sugar until the sugar has dissolved. Transfer the mixture to a measuring cup, then add the vanilla extract. Pour the mix into an ice cream maker and churn. Serve immediately or ripen in the freezer before serving. Holy crap, can you get out of my ear, Biden? How about you stop making me use the radio and come here? Also, why the hell are there roads? I guess this place has people on it. All right, let me grab a bit more wood, then we will head out up there to explore and see what we can find. Our best bet is to try to steal a plane or a boat from someone on this island as a means of escape. Man, I can't wait to get home and just turn off my phone and not answer any of your calls because I'm really done with all this bullshit you guys are doing. For once, can you guys act smart and making good decisions that cause a good outcome in the end? Like, damn, bro, I'm trying to have a nice, happy day without you guys messing things up. You want to say that again, you little stupid kid? What the hell was I supposed to do? I didn't know the Bermuda Triangle myth was true, you dumb little ooh. Huh. Oh, hell no. Why is there so much weed on this island? I think I should take some back to the States to resell. Donald, I think you mean there is a lot of Zaza on this island, and if you take any of that Zaza, I swear I will get you arrested using my presidential power. All right, we can't have more drugs going through our damn system, so I can't allow you to resell it, even though we would make a lot of money. On the other hand, it's fine. I just want to check it out real quick. I have more than enough money. I don't have to work another day in my life. I could just chill at Mar-a-Lago. That's how comfortable I am right now. Donald, it's interesting to hear that you're feeling so comfortable these days, not having to work another day in your life. It's certainly a luxury many aspire to. Yet while financial security is undoubtedly important, it's essential not to lose sight of the broader purpose of our roles. True fulfillment comes not just from personal wealth, but from the meaningful contributions we make to society. As leaders, we have Why a you unique- shut your ass up, damn. Oh, yeah. ¿Quién demonios eres y qué haces en nuestra maldita isla? Te voy a dar hasta la cuenta de tres para contestar mi pregunta. I'm sorry, but I don't speak Spanish. Do you have a translator? Hey! Who the hell are you? And what are you doing on our damn island? I'm going to give you until the count of three to answer my question. We got stranded and we are looking for a way out. And I want to make sure you understand this, but never speak to me or my boys ever like that again, you little bitch. You don't come forcing us to do shit. We do what we want. Te llamó Perra Santiago, dijo que no eras una mierda y te iba a disparar a todos en la cuenta de tres. Oh, de verdad. Entonces vinieron a matarnos y a tomarnos las drogas. Eh, gracias, Enrique. Te ascenderán después de que echemos a esta maldita escoria. Todos sabemos español y teníamos que aprenderlo para ser los mejores presidentes. Bien y ahora te van a patar el culo porque tu hombre cambió nuestras. Palabras pudiste salir gratis, pero creo que ya no pequeno escoria. The truth is that we all know Spanish and had to learn it to become the best presidents, all right? And now you're going to get your ass beat because your man switched up our words. You could have came out scotch-free, but I guess not anymore, you little scum, is what he said. Esto debe recordarle que nunca amenaze a un presidente de los Estados Unidos de América mientras están en crisis. Muy bien, queríamos seguir con nuestro día, pero usted quería dispararnos. Así que no tenemos otra opción más que contraatacar. Google Translate asked Spanish Trump, you need to practice more. Did you say this should remind you to never threaten a president of the United States of America while they are in crisis? Yeah, that's almost what I said, but I also mentioned something about fighting back. Let's go steal a car. Folks, let me tell you, I've got the best map, the most incredible map you've ever seen. I swiped it from that base over there, believe me, and guess what? There's a plane just waiting for us nearby, ready to take us out of this island mess. So hop in the car, 
We're going to make a beeline for that airplane place, and we're going to make our escape. And let me tell you, it's going to be tremendous, absolutely tremendous. All right, all right. Gather around, folks. Good morning, good morning. Boy, do we have a story for you today. So it seems like the big shot, the head honcho of this gang, you know, like a group of folks who don't exactly play by the rules. Well, guess what? He's been assassinado. Yeah, I kid you not. They found him right there in his own casa this very morning. And let me tell you, the police, oh, they're all over it like white on rice. You know what I'm saying? It's got our whole community here on the island buzzing, let me tell you. So stay tuned, amigos, because we'll be keeping you updated every step of the way. Thanks for tuning in, and hasta luego. Oh, that's cool. They have their own mini news station on this island. Mr. Shit! Mr. President, this is dispatch calling in. We've got a situation here. The states have been on high alert, thinking you've gone missing after reports of a crash. Hold on, dispatch. Barack is acting stupid again. Helicopters were deployed nationwide, mainly for your safety, sir. But here's the kicker. It's turned into a full-blown police chase. They're chasing you down, sir. The whole country's got their eyes on this. We need to act fast to de-escalate the situation and get you to safety. What are your orders, sir? For now, don't worry about it. We are about to escape the island on a plane, so it'll all be good. I didn't know, but that one guy who we killed had the keys, so we are good for now. Copy that, Mr. President. Glad to hear you've got a plan in motion. Just make sure to keep a low profile until you're in the clear. We'll do what we can to handle the situation on the ground. Let us know if you need any further assistance. Safe travels, sir. Joe, Barack, hold on tight. We're not out of the woods yet. But hey, we've faced tougher challenges before, right? We'll make it through this, just like we always do. Keep your heads down and stay focused. We'll get this plane off the ground and out of harm's way. Once we're in the air, we'll breathe easy. All right, I think I may trust you. Finally, we are free and out of harm's way. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to go see my wife. Ooh, and that chocolate chip ice cream as well. DoorDash is going to have to come in clutch because I'm not leaving my house, buddy. You know what I'm gonna say to the ice cream guy? I want a big, beautiful scoop of the best vanilla ice cream you've got. None of that fake stuff, folks. Real creamy, luxurious vanilla ice cream. And you know what? Let's top it off with a generous drizzle of hot fudge salt. Uh, 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 what the hell? Not, Not again. again. Ah!